What's going on Quantum Nation? Welcome back. My name's Quantum and today we're going to be doing the dual LED investigation to see whether or not it holds up. Now, for those that are wondering, I'm feeling a little better today. I've been taking hella medication and yeah, it's it's been a rough 24 hours, but we're not gonna let this sickness beat us and that's why we're right back here with another awesome video for you guys. Now, for those that don't know, this year Samsung has new LED technology on their entry-level displays, which is called dual LED. It increases the warm tones and the cool tones by adding both a warm and cool LED light, both dually inside of the display, instead of typically just having a cool LED. And this does admittedly improve some aspects of image quality. The first aspect of image quality that I've noticed that this improves is the isolation and sharpness of the colors that works in tandem with the contrast. So what I mean by this is as you see colors represented on the screen, you'll notice that they are sharper to the body of the image. But at the same point in time, this does not increase the, the volume of color that you're getting or the overall intensity or saturation, which I would have hoped that it would have increased provided that they had you know, both these things working in tandem with one another. I, I assume that this was something that would give you more vibrancy because if you're combining warm and cool together, and theoretically, when things are really warm, they're warm on the screen and really cool, they're cool on the screen, I would have imagined that this would have exploded the image quality into the next level. Unfortunately, that's not the case here. And what we actually end up seeing is Samsung's kind of play on the market right now. As we know, we have dual layer technology coming from Hisense. We know that even Sony in past years has had a dual TV type setup with the grid array backlighting system. I mean, we've seen so many implementations of quantum dots and all these other things that it's just kind of like, you know, Samsung wants to get in on that without having to actually do the work to get there. And it's really lazy in my opinion. I feel like they need to step it up and actually show up with a dual layer something instead of just saying that this is a new technology because truthfully speaking, taking two sets of really cheap LED lights, throwing them behind a really cheap screen and calling that the next innovation, that's not gonna do it for me. Now, like I was saying, you do get a benefit. I'm not saying that there's nothing that this does. You do see a separation of colors, which is nice, typically reserved for higher end TVs, even at the QLED level. So I think that's a good thing, but ultimately, if you were on the fence between last year's Q60R or this year's Q60T, just by last year's model, as far as that feature goes, if that's the thing that's selling you, because it really isn't that game-changing or game-changing enough, to justify that level of purchase or investment uh, as far as over a potentially cheaper model as they start going into the clearance sales as we get going into spring here. So a little disappointing there, but you know, it's as honest as it gets here. I know nobody's gonna tell you like that, but Samsung's dual LED technology, not really game changing stuff here. So I really hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did smack a huge like on it, uh, we're gonna try to pump out more videos. Just make sure that you guys are asking what you want to see and letting me know and you know that type of dialogue and all that stuff. But that being said, thank you all so much for watching the number one brand in honesty. Until the next video, I will see you guys later.